Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cheryl. Today I'm gonna bring you all a Dollar Tree haul. I felt good enough today to get up and do um, record a couple of videos. The past couple of days I haven't really been feeling too well. I just wanna say at the, right now, if you hear a beeping sound, please just disregard it. I'm aware of it. I know I've been saying this for months, but it gets fixed and then it keeps, it starts doing it all over again. I'm completely aware it doesn't take a battery. Don't know what's wrong. Again, it gets fixed, it just went off. Gets fixed and then it goes off again. So just please disregard that. Um, so anyway, um, yeah. So I don't know when I'm gonna release this video, but I do wanna say that I have seen the rheumatologist and neurologist. I'm in the process of having some MRIs done so we can get hopefully get some results there um, which is coming up this week so again um, I don't know when this video is gonna come out uh, it's almost the middle of December when I'm recording it well not the middle but the beginning of December and I want to tell you all you know just keep your family friends in prayer because you never know what they're going through Another thing is, um, I just recently lost a really good friend of mine. Um, actually, I'm, I'll just say this. I did date him for a year, and um, we kept in contact as friends. He was the one that used to work on my car or anything that I needed done or fixed. He was like a handyman. And... Um, he passed away on December the 1st. We kept in contact till the end. And I know it was like right after Thanksgiving, I was texting him like, it, we normally would text every day. And I noticed that I wasn't getting a response because sometimes he wouldn't reply back until the next morning. But after a couple of days, when I didn't get a text back, I kind of felt like something was wrong. So that morning, I was actually getting ready to go have an MRI done, and I texted him. And I was walking around getting dressed, and then I went to check my phone, and I saw that someone replied from his phone that he had passed away on December the 1st. That sent me right into an anxiety attack, because I do um, deal with anxiety as well. I don't mean for this to be a sad video. I don't know why it's going this well. But I just want to let y'all know that not just him. It's just been so many people passing and some that I've known, grew up with, family members. My So he passed on December the 1st. My ex-husband passed on August the 18th of this year, 2023. So... It's, it's just been a lot. And then with me going through what I'm going through, y'all just keep me in your prayers, your family, your friends, your enemies. Keep everybody in prayer because you just never know what people are going through. And cancer is no joke. I lost a brother to cancer back in 2020, January 2020. I lost a sister in 2021 on 9-11. 2021 she was uh, had cancer as well so I'm not trying to make this a sad video I'm kind of giving you guys an update on what's been going on with me in my life well of course it's not that's nothing fun but I'm just out here just still trying to do the best that I can to you know keep staying good health and all that stuff so Thank you all. I appreciate it. Again, I appreciate you. I can't hardly do a heart, you know, because I'm still dealing with this. But um, I just want to let you know I appreciate each and every one of you. If you want to skip, because we're at 6 point, 6.30 minutes, you can skip all the way up to 6.33. And I'm going to go ahead and get into this haul. So, first things I want to show you all. I was actually supposed to be going to my great niece's first birthday party. I'll stick my head in here for a minute. Y'all already know my hair situation. This hat did come from Dollar Tree. Let me show y'all. 
So y'all already know I can't really do my hair like I like or like I used to because of it. But anyway, but anyway, so my nie great niece birthday, first birthday. So I found this cute little bag. I like this bag. It has a little cupcake with the one candle in it. And it has these, these actually move on this side, but not on that side. And then this is what the inside looks like. And I'm not actually even gonna be able to make it to um, her birthday party cause I'm not really feeling all that well. And this, just wanna let you know, I'll let you see the card. And this is the card that I picked out for her. My light is really bright over there and I don't have a way of getting up and changing it right now. So there we go. So that's gonna be our birthday card. Oops. And instead of getting tissue paper, I was just gonna put some of this, these decorative uh, shreds on top. And I'm gonna show you the gifts in a minute because they are in this bag. So I got that. Oh, let me take this out. This, this doesn't need to be in there. And so the first thing I got, I was happy. I forgot who I saw haul these. And I'm like, ooh, those would be a perfect uh, birthday gift for her. Probably not for her mom and dad, though. But anyway, I found this cute little boom, boom box. I didn't put batteries in. I do have batteries here. But they take two AAA batteries. Cute little boom box. And the person that I saw haul these, she put the batteries in and let, you, let it us hear the music. So it's a cute little gift. Dollar twenty-five. Now, all of these things that I'm showing you right now, well, everything I'm going to be showing you today was from a, was a dollar twenty-five. Nothing from the plus. So I got that cute little uh, boom box. I was happy when I found these. Now for her, I think she found them where the Christmas toys were, like at the at the front of the store. Where I found mine's were just in the regular kids department, the toy department. And then this, forgive me for that beeping but anyway found the piano i think she's gonna drive them crazy with these i just thought they were too cute so again takes uh two dub triple a so found the piano and i had to get her the guitar <laughs> had to get her the guitar yep and then last but not least, I got her the dinosaur. The reason why I got her the dinosaur because it plays, um, I'm assuming that it plays the sounds of these animals. And I think that this was all of them. I'm not sure if there were any more. I can't remember now, but if, I knew at first I wasn't gonna get this and I looked at it, I'm like, oh, it has the animal, um, makes the animal sound, so I got that. And then it seems like at the, uh, around Christmas time when they put out the, the 10 packs of batteries, so I went ahead and picked up. So on me, I'll get the first 10 pack so that she'll be able to at least play with it when she gets them. Um, so yeah, so these are cool. A dollar twenty-five. They would also make great Christmas gifts. So I got those for my niece, my great niece. Denise, her mom, shares a birthday with my daughter. Her and my daughter, well, my daughter was born first, of course, many years before her, but born on December the 5th. So they share, her mom shares the birthday of my uh, daughter. All right, so let's get to the next bag. Oh, this bag is busting. So I'm gonna have to pull this stuff out. Don't look at my hair, y'all. Don't look at my hair. Ugh. All right, next thing I want to show you. I did go ahead and pick up this dog toy. Romeo doesn't, for my grand dog, Romeo, he doesn't play with toys. But I figured, because this is like a silicone-like, maybe put some peanut butter on here for him to lick it off. So I'm going to put this. Uh, this is going to be a stocking gift for Romeo. Like I said, it's like a silicone, so I figured if it has peanut butter on it, then he will chew on it. So I got that for Romeo. Picked up this random toy. When I saw this, I'm like, oh, that looks nice. 
I didn't actually get this as to give as a gift. I got this for me to play with. I've been telling y'all for years. I'm just a kid at heart. I still like to play with toys as well. There's no harm in that. You're only old as you feel. But it's a uh, crossbow. And it looks like it's pretty good quality. I'm not sure. But this is just something to me to mess around with. And then I guess once I'm done with it, then I'll probably donate it. But that would be a nice uh, gift idea as well. Or Well, I don't know if it'll fit in the stocking, but wrap it up, put it under the tree. I also picked up a two-pack of Christmas bags. This one has the Christmas trees on it. Thought that was cute, and this one just says fa la la. They had other variations of these, um, but these are just the two that I geared to or liked the, the most. So I got those. And I only got one of these. I saw the one that had the Christmas lights on it, but I got this one that says, Have yourself a magical holiday with the gnome pulling a, on a bike pulling a wagon. <laughs> and that's what the back looked like. Yeah, I've calmed down on buying a lot of uh, lot of things just because they're cute. But I thought this one was cute, so I did get that. And it's not microfiber. I think this one is cotton. So, yeah, or probably like that, what is that, flower sack type material. But anyways, I only got one of those. And I just want to say thank you all uh, to my new subscribers and to the ones who's been rocking with me for a while. I really appreciate each and every one of you, and I love each and every one of you. So, yeah, I just want to put that out there as well. I also got a garland. It's nine feet, and it's silver and gold. Because I didn't buy a tree skirt for this tree up here, so I figured that I would probably just wrap this around the tree. So you can't see the green bottom. So that's why I got that. Because I have tree skirts, but they're, they're in storage, and I didn't want to be going to the store trying to pull out a dollar 25 tree skirt next couple of things i got now i know i have this but i wanted it to incorporate it because i have my little uh, village set up over there you guys can't see it and i don't know how to move we're moving the camera and stuff but the one that i bought this year had has a lady sitting on the bench this one does not so this is one of the older ones which i know that i have this in my storage but I'm still, I want to incorporate it over there in my little village. And I know I already have this as well, but I don't have it over there. And I wanted it for the dog factor because of the dog, you know, just to represent my Romeo. Even though Romeo is an Australian blue healer dog. So yeah, so I'm going to put those over there. I didn't really buy too much of the, um, of the cobblestone stuff this year because I already have most of that. So I just brought couple of pieces that I didn't have and I'm so happy that I did find a couple of more um, of the African-American or the people of color signs and this one says have yourself a merry little Christmas I'm probably not gonna use these this year let me move my gown out the way <laughs> I'm in my gown y'all uh, who knows uh, I, it's, it's, anyway um, yes, I thought she was cute. I think these came out like a couple of years ago, but they weren't in my Dollar Trees, and now they're finally here. And I got the Santa Claus. Got the Santa Claus. I still want to go back and see if I can find that angel, the one that has those angels on it. So, yeah. All right. All right, so let me move this stuff out of the way. And this is mainly, this right here I think is mainly like the candies that I got for Christmas. Didn't buy a whole lot. It may seem like a whole lot, but it's, it's not. Last time, I don't know if I've already put out that video. Again, I don't know when I'm putting out a video. When I pre-record, I just release it throughout the weeks and the months. Um, but anyway, so one of the videos I'm not sure if I've released it or not. I had accidentally picked up the peppermint. 
uh, spoons and I had one of the chocolate ones. So I, you know, I did go back and I did find the chocolate ones. And there goes my light. We're not gonna mess with that. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, I also got me a box of the milk chocolate uh, queen and cordial cherries. You get five pieces. I think I'm the only one that likes these. I only got one box. They have these in the uh, dark chocolate too. I'm not a fan of the dark chocolate. I know it's better for you, but I'm just not a fan. I also got one pack of these uh, Thin Mints in the 5.5 ounces by Zachary. This Zachary, I think, is the one that put out those uh, candy corns. Now I'm, I'm noticing that brand name. So I'm going to see how these taste. There's the uh, nutrition facts on the back and for the Queen Anne's. I was so happy to find these. I have been looking for them for a while because I have seen people haul them and I finally found them. So I did pick up four packs and they are the, they're the uh, jet puffed gummies. They just taste like marshmallows to me. So me and me and one of my sons, my youngest son, we love marshmallows. So I did go ahead and pick up four packs. I've already eat, tried this pack, y'all. So this one is empty. Look, <laughs> I couldn't wait, but I wanted to let y'all see that I did buy four. So we have three packs left. So I'll probably give him two, and I'll probably keep the one. But yeah, so good stocking stuffers. So I did get those, and let me show you the nutrition facts if anyone's interested. There you go. And again, jet puff. They just taste like marshmallows to me. With a little toughness, not really tough, but a marshmallow texture. So yeah. So if you like marshmallows, you probably will like those. I also got, I only picked up, I think, one bag of each of these candies. I believe one bag of each. Because one of their favorites I might have picked up too. So yeah, so for this one, I did get two of the cookies and cream by Palmer. Two bags of the cookies and cream. Bring it closer because my light just went out. And then here's the nutrition facts. For those who are interested. My sons like these. I'm gonna put these up here and these containers that I bought from uh, Dollar General for a dollar. I should have got the other one. They had like a silver one and this green and red one, but I only got picked up those two. All right, so I also got a milk chocolate. And then I got Double crisp. Nutrition facts. I picked up one of the milk chocolate in the bell. And then last but not least, I thought I had got two of these. Maybe not. One of the peanut butter. So yeah, so these will go up in my candy dishes up here. I, even though my sons are grown, I still, because they're not married. None of my sons are married. I have three sons. None of them are married. Only one of them has children. So I still, you know, like to spend uh, Christmas time with them. And, you know, make sure that they have a good day on that day or any holiday. Like Thanksgiving, I, I cook for them and stuff like that. So, yeah. All right. So, the last thing that I'm going to show in this haul, and again, thank you guys so much for sticking with me. If you, if you watch this video to the end, please do a heart emoji or a Christmas tree emoji, Santa emoji, something that has to do with Christmas, an emoji, an emoji, that has to do with Christmas. That way I know that you watched it to the end. 
And um, again, I appreciate each and every one of you all because again, I'm not paid by YouTube nor or sponsored by anyone. So everything that I purchase, you know, I just like to share with you all. So anyway, um, the last couple of things I want to show are these. I was so happy that I found these. Now I saw somebody how these probably like at the beginning of the year. They supposedly have a Twix one as well. This store didn't have the Twix. It just had the Snickers. It's the Snickers Ice Coffee by Victor Allen's 8 Fluid Ounces. Here are the nutrition facts. Now these were, they were, you know how Dollar Tree, they have their stuff boxes on the floor in the area where they're going to stop. So these were actually sitting on boxes on the floor where they were going to be stocked. But somebody had already opened it and went in and got them. And it was only one box. So that's probably why I not wasn't able to find them. Because as soon as they get them, they go fast. But anyway, so I did pick up four. One of them is in the refrigerator because I want my son to try it. To see if he likes it. And then we'll go from there. Because he loves Snickers. I like Snickers. They're okay but mainly for him to try because he works from home so anyway so again forgive me forget that beeping sound there i'm aware of it and i'm sorry for ranting at the beginning of the video but i just want to let y'all give y'all a little update on what's going on with me and what's been going on so i hope everybody have a happy a merry christmas if you celebrate happy hot and if not, happy holidays to you. Um, and again, just keep your pray, pray for me, pray for your family members and even your enemies. Pray for yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. And until my next video, y'all stay safe and y'all be blessed out there. Bye now.